It's Rivalry Week here in Tallahassee, and earlier today, Jimbo Fisher and E.J. Manuel met with the media in preparation for this Saturday's game against the Miami Hurricanes. For Coach Fisher, he talked about the fact that this is a big game, regardless of who's on the field. One of the big games you're here at Florida State for. I mean, that's always one of the great rivalries in college football, and uh, a lot of history, a lot of tradition. Uh, it's always, it means a lot to us. I know that, and uh, that's one of them, you know, you have to be aware of, and, and it's battles, there's a lot of... There's a history in it, tradition in it. it, means a lot to the people here, it means a lot to the players that played here, and uh, it's always a great game. Miami quarterback Stephen Morris sustained an ankle injury this past Saturday in the loss to North Carolina. Coach Fisher will be preparing for both quarterbacks should Morris be able to play. You have to. I mean, you have to prepare for both. You have to do both. And, uh, I mean, you know, their offense, and when you say prepare for both, though, how drastic are they going to change? Whether, I mean, in two or three days of practice, you can change your offense and do some different things, but you still... I mean, the still the foundation is going to be the same. One's a little more mobile, one's a little bigger and stronger, but they're both very good quarterbacks. As, as when uh, Morris got hurt, they, he went in with 9 for 13 for 80 yards in that game. Performed very well. His numbers actually in that game were a little better than Morris's were. For E.J. Manuel, one of the biggest differences in this weekend's win over the Boston College Eagles was the return of Menelik Watson, who came back after missing the NC State game, a player who E.J. credits as a real man. Having Menelik in there, he's a leader. You know, he's a vocal leader, and, you know, he's a massive man, you know, so in, whenever he speaks and, you know, it's O-line, you know, they, they adhere to what he has to say. You know, a lot of times you, you have certain guys that you want to lead, and he's one of them, and, and he does a great job at it. So, like I said on Saturday uh, after the game, it's like having my big brother in there, you know, knowing that nobody off that right edge you're going to get a chance to hit me so um, you know I'm glad he's back healthy and playing well. Make sure you stay with us here at Seminoles.com all week as we get you ready for Florida State and Miami this Saturday night prime time in Miami Gardens. Road Wars will be out on the road this week. We'll have comprehensive coverage leading up to the game. For Seminoles.com, I'm Ryan Pincy.